Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Instead of the vlog today, we are doing a Q&A. So I asked you guys on Twitter and Snapchat to ask me some questions and uh, let's go edit them. I hope the my little light doesn't make that much of a sound. If it does, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I will try to fix it with music and stuff. Um, I don't know if it works, but we're gonna go on Twitter right now and let's see what you guys ask me. And before um, username Summer Mills, I will see you. It says wash your hat. Yes, I will wash my. I wash my hat regularly, but it's just dirty and I have to have a haircut, so that's why I have it on now. Yeah, but she always or, or he always comments that. I know. Okay, so don't be an asshole. Okay, we got a lot of questions actually. Okay, are you going to do some meetups? Um, I'm definitely down to do meetups, but definitely when the the the, uh, the base is a little bit bigger, so we know for sure that some people are going to show up because I'm not going to do a fan day and meet up and have no one show up. So, um, yeah. Um, Jacob asks, I know you fitness vids, but will you someday upload gaming vids as well? One hundred fifty percent. But the only problem right now is this computer, uh, it, it cannot handle recording gameplay um, and that wa that's why, so I, I cannot do gaming videos right now. Uh, I definitely plan on doing it because it only makes sense. I'm a gamer, I play games, I play M.2, Black Ops 2 on my Xbox, so when I get the chance, uh, I will definitely record. Um, Sydney Spidey Sydney Spidey Waffles asks what country are you going to next? I hope to go uh, I'm going for sure to Germany um, to the FIBO Expo Which is like in April, but I hope hopefully I can go to uh, the US again. I really want to go there and um, uh, Yeah, I really uh, think there lies uh, a big uh, opportunity for me to to grow and with face fitness and, and stuff like that So I hope to go there one day again this year um, how many languages do you know? Well, I speak Dutch, obviously, it's my mother language. I speak English, obviously, because I'm speaking it right now. And I'm al I also speak a little bit German um, and a little bit of French, like a little, un petit peu. So, uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit French, a little bit uh, German. Um, should I do more reps to get big biceps? Uh, you can you can play around with it. Actually, you want to switch it up here and there. So if you want to do more reps and lower weight, good form, um, higher sets, low sets, you know, play around with it and see what works for you. Um, first video game you ever played? Uh, Pokemon, I think it is. On it, I was so addicted to Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Ruby on the Game Boy. The Game Boy. Oh my God, it were good times. Um, have you okay? Have you thought about adding a new member to Face Fitness? So I. I get this question a lot, a lot, a lot on my videos, on Twitter, uh, especially on Twitter and on, on, on the Instagram, I get DMs all the time of people. Um, for now, um, as I said earlier, I think I said it earlier in the video, um, we're going through a big change behind the scenes with Face Fitness and, and, and upgrading it and doing it, all that. Um, so nothing is certain right now uh, when it comes to Face Fitness. And um, I don't mean in a negative way, but I mean, we don't know what's going to happen, what, what direction we're going, uh, and, and etc. So, um, yeah, I cannot ask, answer that question, but probably uh, not. I'm going to be straight honest with you guys. So, uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think you'll be like at the end of 2016 and in 10 years? So, at the end of 2016, I have my goals. I want to have personally on my, on my YouTube channel, like... 30 to 50,000 subscribers, um, somewhere in that range, and hopefully with Face Fitness to be somewhere around 200 to 300,000 subscribers. Um, you want to aim high, I can say a million on Face Fitness. Um, as I said, depends on what, what direction we go and, and how, how it all turns out. So, um, 10 years, I cannot say that, man, nothing is certain. Uh, would you visit the Face House in California? 100%. Is YouTube your full-time job? Uh, yes, I'm trying to um, do that. Um, as you guys, some guys know, some of you guys don't know. Um, I am not in school, and I work. My work is this. I mean, um, I make videos, and I, I, I earn some some with that. And I live at home still, so it's all possible. And um, I'm trying to make a living out of this because I really love it. 
are really passionate about it and you know if you can turn your hobby into a career potentially then 100% yes so it's my full-time thing now I do this day in day out and I love it favorite pre-workout food I always have chicken and rice chicken and steak <laughs> why no vlog today uh, can't really say nothing bad but you know what do you do when you start losing motivation to go to the gym man I watch some videos that pump me up I listen to some music that pump me up and I listen and I see I, I look at myself from earlier, like two years ago or three years ago, and see like, damn, I made some gains, man. That's where I started, so I don't want to give up now, because I'm gonna lose it all. Start back square one, so we don't want to do that. Would you suggest using pre-workout when I go to the gym? And should I use it every time with it and not healthy? They recommend doing like eight week cycles uh, with pre-workout, because um, you build a tolerance and it's not really good for your body to have that long, of that much, like, caffeine and all that stuff in your in your body because your body stops producing naturally um, just like with coffee um, once you start with the coffee and, and drink it every single morning at some point one cup is not enough you have to do two and three and, and your body is gonna uh, build up a tolerance so it's not good so um, they recommend that like four to eight week cycles and I do recommend that because you don't want to mess yourself up do I recommend pre-workout I really like pre-workout um, not not only because um, because of the pre-workout, like the effect, but also to have like, I use it because I, I get ready to go to the gym. Like when I take my pre-workouts, I get, like their switch goes off and like, okay, I'm ready. In the zone, let's kill this shit. So um, that's the way I use it as well. And also it helps me push a little bit harder. <laughs> if you were stuck on an island and you have one person in front of your face there, who would it be? Um, Nikon or Sensei? Nikon is just the funniest guy ever, I love him. And Sensei is really smart, he's like, he could survive like eating like anything. Um, so I feel like he would be really, a really good candidate for this. And uh, those were all the questions. Um, yeah, those were all the questions, so thank you so much for watching. Sorry for no vlog again, um, I hope again the sound is okay and you can hear me clearly. Um, I'm definitely going to invest in a microphone so I can go and do a clear commentary, um, better voice, better sound, better quality, professionalism, sweat money. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jasper, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one.